Hey, how we doing today, guys? This is William Myers from Prepared Mind 101. Today we're going to be showing you a new way to affect fire. Don't go away. All right, so I was having a conversation with some uh, friends of mine not too long ago, and we were talking about things that have multi-use. You know, like uh, I'm not going to pack this because it's a one-trick pony and uh, it doesn't have at least two or three uses, and so on and so forth. And I'll just let you know right now, unless it is something that's solely used just for fire like a ferro rod or something like that. I mean, I'm not going to pack a one-trick pony. And the only reason why I would make allowances for something like fire or something like that because fire has so many uses on its own, you know, from medicinal properties to making tools to controlling core body temperature. Um, <clears throat> so I, uh, I smoke an e-cig. Uh, some of you know that, some of you don't. But I used to actually smoke cigarettes, and uh, some things happened to some friends and family of ours. So... You know, my wife had some conversations with me about quitting smoking and stuff like that. So I switched to an e-cig, and uh, I was smoking my e-cig when we were having this conversation. And they were like, well, what about that? That goes on your body. You know, that's part of something that you pack in the woods. It's a one-trick pony that only does one thing. You just smoke out of it. You know, I got to thinking, I was like, well, you got me. And then I was like, I bet I can make fire with it. So we're, that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to get set up. Don't go away. Alright guys, this is my e-cig right here, and uh, okay, before I get all kinds of comments, this is a Eastern White Pine Bark Bandage, the uh, the sap from the Eastern White Pine is antimicrobial, and I got a nasty little gash in my finger, so I threw that on there real quick. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew the tank from the battery here, we're going to set that aside, and what this basically is, is uh, a uh, lithium ion battery. And the connections are in here. You see, I've actually been using this already, testing it out. And as long as, see, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure what uh, the board, there is a, a board in here. But if you make contact with the middle and the sides, you will get a spark. And you, uh, but if you make too hard of contact too quickly, it will, um, the board I think senses that you're trying to cause a short and it just like shuts the e -sig down. So you got to be really quick. This is, if a ferrule rod is easier, uh, even a 9 volt battery is easier. But I don't carry a 9 volt battery and if I lose my ferrule rod, I know I can start a fire with steel wool with this. And we're going to demonstrate that right now. Don't go away. Alright, so if we just like shove this in here, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. You know, we could shove all the steel wool in here, and then once we hit the button, you'll see it's not letting us access to the battery. So what we have to do is we have to be really, really quick with this. Just enough to get a spark to jump, to arc, and then allow oxygen to get to that. So I'm going to try to do that right now. So what we got to do is we got to bring it in here, and as soon as we're getting ready to make contact, we turn it on and then make contact. See, we got that spark right there. Oh, we'll get it. It's a little finicky, but we'll get her. Yeah, like I said, a ferro rod, this thing would have been already up three times by now, but at least you know that you can do this if you had to. It just took me, like, almost five minutes to to get how to do it. I mean, I, when I first started doing this, like, I was, I thought... Man, there's got to be a way to, to, to light steel wool with this. I mean, it's just a big battery, right? So there we go. We're on now. We got a tender bundle here. Well, I meant to actually break this. This is like five times the amount of steel wool that I need for this, but too late now.
Swing, there you go, guys. All right, guys, so this is just, uh, I guess, like a little trick, you know, if you, if you smoke from an e-cig, or maybe somebody in your party is, you know, you guys use steel wool for cleaning and, and you know, things like that, steel wool. Uh, I don't think I ever go anywhere without steel wool. You know, I clean my firearms. I clean, uh, like, surface rust off my knives with it. Um, you know, I make fire with it. it. I mean, you take a ferro rod and you hit a ferro rod or steel wool with a ferro rod, I mean, you got molten steel just going bananas, you know, in, in a bird's nest. You, there's no way you're going to fail. Even with marginal material sometimes, really kind of uh, damp material, stuff like that, you know, that uh, steel wool is really going to get you going. But, you know, like I said, if you if you smoke from the e-cig, or if your friends or somebody in your party smokes from the e-cig, this is just a little tip or trick. You may not have known, but now you know. Thanks for viewing my videos. Thanks for subscribing and liking. That really helps me out. I appreciate all your views and comments. Hopefully we'll see you out in the woods.